Hey, hey there. Are you guys looking for one of the most prestigious communities to live in? In one of the most amazing suburbs in all of the country? This is it. This is Wingate Ranch in North Scottsdale that has everything you probably want in amenities for a lifestyle that is active and just pure awesomeness. This is it. Stay tuned. Let's go explore Wingate Ranch. Let's go. We're going to turn into Wingate Ranch right now and give you guys an amazing tour of it and why this Toll Brothers community is one of the most sought after communities in all of North Scottsdale. Here we go. Look at that thing. Oh my God. Oh, Rattlesnake. My that's awesome. You gotta love Wingate Ranch. This is Arizona living right here, guys. Mondays and Fridays. All right. <laughs> that is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's Arizona right there. I, I, I had a guy come and he had like a bucket full of scorpions from different houses that he was yeah. collecting. And I was just like, ew. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen a snake, though. Scorpions or rattlesnakes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's awesome. Thanks so much. No problem. You too. <laughs> Gotta love Arizona. But seriously, rattlesnakes and scorpions, you don't see them that much, but that was kind of cool. Natural wildlife of Arizona. <laughs> that guy was crazy. That's what I expect right there out of a rattlesnake hunter. Don't, right? Yeah. That's the kind of guy that you expect is going to be you're gonna call to come get a rattlesnake out of your uh, your backyard or whatever. All right. Okay, guys, this is the uh, Wingate Community Center. We're gonna get out and give you guys a little tour of, of it. But guys, this is awesome. Wingate is one of the most sought after communities and there's a good reason, especially if you have a family. If you have a family, for kids, the place is cool and we're gonna show you why. Let's go. All right guys, we are right here at the clubhouse area in Wingate Ranch, and as you can see behind me, we have a large, extremely large lawn grass area. Now I know if you're in the Midwest right now, you're thinking, so what, they got grass. Guys, this is the desert. To have a huge grass area like this for a community center, for your kids to come play ball, uh, to host a birthday party at, or whatever it may be, with a big bouncy house, this is amazing. In fact, I was just here for one of my kids' uh, friend's birthday party, He's in the first grade and guys, they had a blast here, right? They had a bouncy house with the water slide coming down, running around playing football and, and, and all kinds of crazy stuff, dodgeball, hitting each other in the heads, knocking kids out, crying, but it was, it was chaos and it was fun. And you can do that when you live in Wingate Ranch. You also guys have three community pools, not one, but three right back here. And you have a community center right here that you can rent. Um, I'm not sure what the fee is, but it's reasonable, you can rent. To, you can have uh, events there, you can have um, parties there, uh, you rent it out, you just, it's, it's no big deal, it's awesome. They have refrigerators in there, you can bring, you know, drinks, whatever, right? And you set up right in there and they have access to the lawn and the pools and the tennis courts and the pickleball courts and the basketball courts and everybody, I, there, guys, there's been these playgrounds right here, look at this playground. I didn't even show you this playground. It's so cool, I want to go out there and play <laughs> and I'm 42 years old. So if you have a little kid in you, you want to live in Wingate Ranch too, and maybe play with your kids, and just be a kid. I don't know. That, that made sense? I hope it did, guys. Wingate Ranch, this is pretty cool. Let's take you around here, and you got a clubhouse up here that has more event centers uh, for space that you could rent. Um, and of course, you have cabanas on the side of the pools here. You have a hot tub right here. So with the jets and all that, right? So if it's a little cooler in the wintertime, you want some heat, you get that. So you have these two pools here and a pool down here 
So guys, if there's multiple parties, which sometimes, sometimes there is here, you can have your own section with the cabanas and, and the pool that you want to swim in for you know the age appropriate group of, of kids that you have or whatever it may be that you're hosting. They have graduation parties they host here with DJs out in the front lawn up here. It's just an amazing place to be if you're looking for amenities. And I did mention those basketball, those pickleball, those tennis courts, right? They got it all, guys. Wingate Ranch. It's for you, I think. <laughs> College, Whew. no one messed with me in college on this right here. Foosball, that's where it's at. Guys, here's an amazing picnic area that you can rent out as well. And it's shaded, obviously, which is crucial in the summertime. Right in the middle of the playground while your kids are going crazy at their birthday party. And then down here is the amazing basketball court. Guys, look how nice that is. This basketball court is nicer than most indoor courts, I would argue. You have artificial turf around the court and it's striped and nice, nicely done. And as you know, most outdoor parks when it comes to basketball, have those rims that like don't give because they don't want someone hanging and breaking the backboard ever. Look at these, two breakaway rims. So when you dunk, because I know most of you guys dunk, right? No problem at all. It would be like you're in an NBA arena. Wingate Ranch basketball courts are nice. Okay guys, Wingate Ranch is a guard gated community as you can see when we came in uh, the entryway and had the amazing encounter with the, uh, the natural wildlife of the Sonoran Desert. There are 700 total homes in Wingate Ranch. It's a Toll Brothers community which is known for um, outstanding construction quality when it comes to Arizona. Uh, Semi-custom homes uh, is mainly what Toll Brothers will build. They uh, have single story homes as well as two story homes in Wingate Ranch. And those homes range anywhere from 1.2 million approximately for about 3,000 square feet up to about 2.7 million for about 5,000 to 5,600 square feet. Okay. Now, what's interesting is there are currently five homes out of the 700 on the market in Wingate Ranch. What's unique about Wingate Ranch is that it actually has two different parts to it, which is interesting. You have Wingate Ranch proper, which is the entire area under or inside the guard gates, which is most of Wingate Ranch. However, you do have a south side area of Wingate Ranch where all the lots are a lot smaller, you know, ranging in the ballpark of about 6,000 to 7,000 square feet, as opposed to larger lots that can be 8,000 to 12,000 square feet inside Wingate Ranch proper. So on the south side, those homes are cheaper, yet they uh, have no direct car access to the clubhouse and the amenities. So on the south side, you have a gated community of homes that have no access directly to the clubhouse. You have to actually leave the, uh, the gated area on the south side and enter the main gates to come into the amenities that you have access to. But you, you can actually walk through a wash to get to the clubhouse if you want to walk and not drive from the south side area of Wingate Ranch to the regular side of Wingate Ranch, which is guard gated. 
So that's one of the upsides or downsides of living in Wingate Ranch. If you want to get into Wingate Ranch at a cheaper or the cheapest you know dollar amount possible, well then living on the south side of Wingate Ranch is the place to be for you. It just won't be as convenient and there will be no guard at the gate for you. It will simply be a code that you plug in to enter your subdivision to get to your house for security purposes. So those are two big things that a lot of people don't know about when it comes to Wingate Ranch. And it's really important if you're looking to buy or sell in Wingate Ranch, from an appraisal standpoint, most realtors don't understand there are two different sections of Wingate Ranch because they're both called Wingate Ranch. And because of that, when it comes to valuations of properties, Sometimes homes won't appraise or they, for less or they, or they won't appraise for more, vice versa. And so having a realtor on your side that knows an area like Wingate Ranch to be able to communicate to an appraiser the appropriate valuations of the different homes and the, the like comparables is extremely important, guys. So give us a call at that 480-660-5974 number and we'd be happy to talk to you further about Wingate Ranch and any of the housing and real estate values that come along with this amazing community. There's a pocket park on Wingate Ranch. A lot of those run through the, uh, the neighborhood. So again, that's i.e. a retention center for the builder, right? They're not that generous and that nice, but they have to have retention for water drainage and so on and so forth. So they, a lot of times, will put sod down and grass to make it look pretty. And it doubles as a great useful spot for kids to play and things of that nature, dogs going around. So here's another pocket park right here. Again, just really cool how they design this amazing community. Okay, now we are actually exiting Wingate Ranch right now. You saw the guard gates. We're leaving Wingate Ranch. And guys, right across the street is the McDowell Mountain Preserve, which is phenomenal. Over 50 miles of hiking trails right back here. And as you can probably see, there's development all around this area. But this is one thing the city of Scottsdale has done an amazing job of preserving all these years. And guys, that land is worth so much money, it's not even funny, that developers would pay for right now. But they are holding out and preserving that, which is, thank the Lord, because it is just an amazing uh, part of the Sonoran Natural Desert. There's actually a couple kids hiking trails back there that have signs that explain the different type of vegetation and plant life that you find in the Sonoran Desert. My kids love it and it's not hard, it's all flat at the base of the hiking trails. Um, they also have hiking trails that go beyond the mountains, loop around and all kinds of fun stuff. So if you have a chance to go hiking in Scottsdale, guys, the McDowell Mountain Sonoran De uh, Preserve is awesome. It's also called the Gateway um, Trailhead. So pro tip, check that out if you have a chance, okay? So guys, there's a wash right there that separates the south side of Wingate Ranch to Wingate Ranch proper. And we're gonna go into the south side here to show you that in just a minute. You got some commercial activity right here, uh, buildings, veterinarian, bars, restaurants. Of course, you have to have a CVS, right? That's extremely important. And for perspective, what's cool is right across the street over here, you have a huge Bashes, which is a grocery store. So guys, convenience is a huge thing when living in Wingate Ranch. Grocery store, the Vig Restaurant, which is a phenomenal restaurant to go have food, hang out with the kids. Um, and then of course, Starbucks, everything else you would want, um, chiropractors, dentists, everything, everything you would want in a typical strip mall are right there anchored by the Bash's huge grocery store. Chase Bank, you name it. So, um, and then right over here, guys, you have more businesses. And then across from the south side we're about to enter in, you have Notre Dame Preparatory High School, which is obviously a private high school um, that you're right across the street from. So if you want to go to a private high school or have that experience for your kids, guys, look at that. There it is. There's the football field right there, NDP. You don't have a long walk to go to school if you live in Wingate Ranch, especially on the south side of Wingate Ranch, which we are heading into right now. So here's the guard gates that we were talking about. 
So this one is not guard gated. Let's see here. We put in the secret back code. We have the back code. And here we go into the south side of DC Ranch. Here's some video of the south side of Wingate Ranch. Again, this area is not as large, but it again is entry level, Wingate Ranch. Homes are uh, a little bit smaller for the most part, as well as the lot sizes are smaller. So your yard size is not as good. However, if you are on the north side of this little section, all these homes right here that you're seeing right now as we drive through here, their backyards are amazing. They all have view fencing because that wash we showed you backs up to their back fence. So these lots are at a premium, even though they are smaller. We're going we're gonna to actually go into a property on the south side here and show you what we're talking about so you can, and, uh, you can explore and see for yourself a Wingate Ranch Toll Brothers home. All right guys, so we were in one of the houses in Wingate Ranch on the south side as we talked about, and we're gonna play guess that price. How much do you think this house is? Now, so the stats in this house are this. You have four bedrooms, three baths. You have about 3,090 square feet or so, and you have two levels. You also have a view out the back right here as you can see, which is awesome. So how much do you think this house is going for? I'll give you three guesses. You ready? $1,195,000, $1,249,000, or $1,275,000. A, B, or C, which one is it? If you guess A, you are correct. This is going for $1,195,000, which puts it at a, a price per square foot number of $385 a square foot. So, not that bad. As you can see, it comes with furniture, these people probably live out of state. We're gonna go in the backyard, and so maybe you can actually get the furniture thrown in. Um, who knows? Let's go check out the backyard. So this is what we're talking about, guys. So right now, you can see you have an amazing view fence here with privacy back here, which is awesome. And look at this mountain view, guys, of Thompson's Peak and the McDowell Mountains. Pretty darn cool. Now, the downside is it's small, okay? But you could do a barbecue here, maybe throw a hot tub over here, and by the way, if you want to do a pool back here, you could get that done. I know it's small, but you'd be surprised at the customized bobcats they have and the sizes they have that can fit in these small spaces to dig holes. So you can put a pool back here if you wanted, or a spool, spa pool combined, that's a thing, in Arizona, or maybe just a hot tub. But you can enjoy the nice backyard because you have privacy, which is cool, not a two-story house right behind you looking down your own backyard. Not too shabby. Okay guys, schools for Wingate Ranch, they're part of the Scottsdale Unified School District, which is arguably the best school district in the entire state of Arizona. So for elementary school, you're looking at Copper Ridge Elementary School, which also doubles up as a middle school, K through eight. And then from there, they would go to Chaparral High School, um, which is uh, not that far from here, but, but those are the schools they would be attending um, if they go to the ones that are in their boundaries. Now, in Arizona, the cool thing is you have open enrollment. So if they wanted to go to a different school that's public, they could do that, assuming there's availability in that particular elementary, junior high, or 
high school. Or they could go to, like I said, Notre Dame, right across the street, Notre Dame Prep, which is um, a private school as well. And there are other charter school and private school options in the area. So a lot of good school options around Wingate Ranch, that is for certain. See guys, one of the reasons you gotta come to Black Rock is for the good music. You hear that? Hello, hello. How you doing? Um, we're doing a little video on some local coffee shops, so we're trying to see what what, what would you get here? What would you recommend? Um, our most popular drink is probably gonna be a, um, a blondie, which is our caramel white mocha. Um, our blackout is also really popular, which is gonna be our kind of hazelnut mocha. Yeah. Um, those are probably our two popular drinks. Okay, do you have what do you have? Do you have anything like sugar free or lower sugar? Yeah, we can do any of our um, flavors like sugar free, the blondie, you can do sugar free. The oh, yeah? Sugar -free, yeah. <laughs> sugar free, okay. So you, you would go with the blackout, which is hazelnut mocha or yeah. caramel, right? Um, that's gonna, our blackout is our hazelnut mocha. Let's do the blackout with sugar free. Did you want to do that hotter ice? Ice. Ice. Do you, have, size? do you have oat milk? We do have oat milk, yeah. Oat milk, yes. And then what size do you want to do? Let's go with the medium. Medium? Right. Yep. That is great life advice right there. Fuel your story. What's your story? Comment below, let us know what your story is. You like Black Rock's theme? I love it, it's great. Fuel your story. You're in charge. <laughs> I wanna put that in my room. <laughs> my wife would love that. Sell this pen, right? Okay, so if you need some energy, some organic, natural energy, and you're feeling sluggish, it's afternoon, right here, fuel from BlackRock is what you need to keep your day going, right? So give us a call, we will sell you fuel all day long because we want you to be as productive and efficient as possible as you can be to be your best. Because that's what life is all about, right? Being your best, so get BlackRock fuel today. So guys, you know, you know the situation, right? It is KCI time. Kelly's Coffee Index. We're at Black Rock Coffee, right next to Wingate, and you should fuel your story. That's crazy how it's there and here. Anyways, so here we go, guys. Uh, I'm having the blackout. Now, we don't have a separate KCI for sugar-free coffees, which maybe we should, right? Because they taste a little different, right? Right? We went sugar-free this time, trying to stay a little healthier. Let's see what we got. Oh, oh, I like that. So blackout is hazelnut. It's a hazelnut mocha ice with oat milk. That's good, guys. Do you like hazelnut? I love hazelnut. All right. Can I do 8.2? Let's go in half. Okay, I'll give it an eight. I'll give it an eight. I give it 8.2 if we can do that, but we're sticking on half increments. So 8.2 Black Rock. There's actually several of these around the valley. So check it out, guys. This one's right next to Wingate. You won't be disappointed. Black Rock Coffee. Out. Oh, oh, hey, how you doing? Thanks for hanging with us on our video on Wingate Ranch. I'm hanging with you. Thanks for hanging with me. Wingate Ranch, guys, is awesome. Please, please, please subscribe to our channel because my arms are tired and this is hurting and it's hot. But I'm gonna hang here as long as I need to until you hit the like button. So go ahead, hit it. Please hurry, hit it. So guys, you can always call us at 480-660-5974 or email us at info at kellycookhomes.com. Guys, comment below. Let us know what you think about Wingate Ranch and guess how long I can hang on this thing. That'd be awesome too. Um, also, too, guys, Instagram, at Kelly Cook Real Estate Group. We're putting out daily content behind the scenes. Thanks so much, guys. As always, don't forget to call me. Call me. So